do a desk review. show you uh got a new job do a whole bunch of different stuff man it's been like an actual year maybe maybe not when was my last video um got some cool stuff to show you uh specifically gonna center this desk tour around the Nufi air 60 low profile mechanical keyboard that i just picked up uh it's my first mechanical keyboard have some thoughts about it it's pretty cool there's not a ton of videos that are actually hitting YouTube just yet. I mean, there's a handful if you search for it, but um, just thought I would show my experience, uh, the cool things that happened and then the not so cool things that I know happened to me and then also to some other people that are getting the keyboard right now. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you a desk tour, but also kind of center it around this keyboard. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's go. All right. So this is the desk uh, scenario right now. It's not quite... Uh, in the cleanest state right now, but I figured I'd show you something closer to what it actually looks like day to day when I'm here working. So I think I'm just gonna start with just the desk in general. This is just your straight up Ikea uh, butcher block countertop uh, sitting on top of two Alex drawers. Uh, this is like the YouTuber special, I think, and probably where I saw it for the first time, though I wouldn't consider myself a legitimate YouTuber. Um, was super cheap. I think it's been like 200 bucks on the whole setup, maybe less. Uh, just a quick trip to Ikea. Fit it all in my Honda Fit on the way back. Very uncomfortable ride, but we made it. And uh, it's nice and simple, looks good, pretty sturdy. And uh, it kind of doubles as a podcast setup for when we do the Two Man Comic Book Club podcast. Link in the description if you wanna hear what that's about. Let's start next with the desk mat. So just picked this up not too long ago. And um, the very first day after I got it, my cat threw up on it. So that was a lot of fun to clean up. Anyway, um, this is a simple one. They make a wide variety of these things online. You can find them on Amazon though for pretty cheap. Grove Made has some really nice ones, but I wasn't quite ready to pull the trigger on that one because again, my cat might throw up on it. So this one looks super nice, adds a nice contrast to the desk and uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so next to the star of the show and the main reason I wanted to make this video is the new keyboard that I just got. So this is the Nufi Air 60 low profile mechanical keyboard and a 60%. Uh, I did buy the extra keys that came on it. It was like a, if you bought them early, they were like, I don't know, 50% off or something like that. If you wanna like see the specs of this or like hear typing test, I might like throw one up on here in a second, but the main thing I wanted to talk about is just my experience with it. I am nowhere near a uh, like a mechanical keyboard snob. I, this is my first one I've ever bought. Definitely appreciate the art form, but it's something that if I go down the rabbit hole too quickly, I could definitely find myself in another hobby that I definitely don't need to be in. So I figured this was a good middle ground to jump into and uh, just get a feel for it. I went with the brown switches, which are the, uh, the tactile switches. Um, they give just a little bit of a feel whenever you're typing opposed to the linear switches, which is like a continuous actuation of the key. It sounds really good. It feels nice to type on. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I have seen varying reports when it goes to this keyboard. Like some people have had varying uh, success with getting it shipped to them or having really long wait times. And I've even seen some that arrive pretty banged up and even like severely bent. Um, I actually did have problems myself when I got the keyboard. It came with the red switches, which is not what I ordered. Again, I ordered the brown switches. So I got on, sent them an email, and they pretty quickly got me some replacement switches and I was able to go out there and they didn't charge me for them. So that was cool. All things considered, there was not like a, a language barrier or anything like that. And they were able to get back to me. But again, 
I have heard some uh, customer service issues with them depending on what your problem was. So just wanted to point that out there just for complete transparency. But my experience, other than the switches being the incorrect ones whenever I received them, they replaced them for free and I'm really happy with the typing experience. Uh, if you don't know about monkey type, get on there, check it out. I'm gonna do just one cold run. I promise I'm not taking multiple takes of this. As many times as I mess up, it'll be the thing. Um, but here you go, check this out. Not my best ever, but I would be honest and just let you know that that was the one take. So uh, I'm curious, post your typing speed and your accuracy below down in the comments. Go to monkeytype.com. I'll put a little link right here and then down in the description, but check it out. I'm curious to see how uh, people that watch this video, how fast you can type and how accurate you are. Moving on. So uh, my computer of choice is a 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max. I do video work professionally and full-time for a living, so I wanted to get a machine that could keep up with me, and it has been a powerhouse of a machine so far. It's been awesome. I actually picked this up on the Apple Refurb store, so I'm planning on making a full video about that if you're interested and wanna know how that experience was. So next to my MacBook, I have a 2018 iPad Pro that I use primarily for universal control with my MacBook. If you don't know about that, it's a super cool feature where you can use one mouse and keyboard and a trackpad in my instance, I'll get to that in a second, and all your peripherals on both machines without switching between uh, like a mirroring thing. It just works, like you just kind of move your mouse to the edge of it and then suddenly I'm controlling my iPad. It's super cool, super handy to drag and drop files or assets or any like digital things that I might work up or logos or whatever art that might be useful in a project. I can just pull between those. Um, Lots of applications on the iPad that aren't on the Mac and vice versa, and it's nice to not have to switch back and forth. It, for real, added so much value to my iPad that at this point is four and a half years old, and it kind of breathed fresh life into it. So super awesome feature. Highly recommend you check it out. Speaking of my other peripherals, I have a Logitech MX Master 3. This one's for Mac. Um, I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but it just happened to be the one that came up whenever uh, I was shopping for one and I grabbed it. I also am one of those weird people that use an Apple Magic trackpad alongside my mouse. So I have this setup here where trackpad on the left, mouse on the right, keyboard in the center. Uh, it makes it especially easy to like navigate a timeline, whether I'm in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. Um, swiping gestures, pinching to zooming, but then also having the precision of a mouse being able to kind of click there. And there are also some like macros and keys that you can customize with this mouse to add a little more functionality based on the application that you're within. Zoom Handy Recorder. This is actually my works, but was using on a recent project. That's here. My main camera that's actually mine is a Sony a7 III. Uh, I believe that came out in 2018. Um, I'm recording on a Sony a7S III right now on the 24 to 105. Uh, you know what? If you want to see my camera gear, let me know below. Uh, what else? Ah, yes. So here I have the Belkin 2-in-1 MagSafe charger for iPhone. Well, any iPhone that has a MagSafe, really. So it's pretty cool. It has a magnetic charger that I can mount everything on, and below it is a... Uh, Qi wireless compatible charger that I send my AirPods on and let them charge. So super nice. It's uh, good enough to where I can get on a quick FaceTime if I'm occupied elsewhere on my other screens and don't want to occupy it with another app. It charges really quick, otherwise really good. Moving on. I have this cool lamp with a Philips Hue bulb. Uh, nothing special. I believe I got this on Amazon. Um, I can put a link down below if you're interested in that. Uh, I'll try to have links for all this stuff below uh, now that I think about it. So. If you see anything you like and want to check it out, there it is. Uh, oh, I should double back. My MacBook is sitting on top of a Lamacall laptop stand. So I'm in the process of kind of shopping around for a monitor, uh, but I haven't quite made up my mind on what I want to get yet. Really like the Apple Studio display. Um, it's pretty expensive. Heard rumors that there's going to be more, uh, another display coming out that might fix one of my main issues with it, that there's no local dimming, which is... Not a must have, but it's a super nice feature that I would like to have if I'm gonna spend that much money on a monitor. So 
Um, for now, just getting a laptop stand was enough to give me at least some sort of ergonomic position when I'm working and it's been great for now. Here's my whiskey and oak crackling wood wick candle. Oh, smells good. Just when I'm treating myself, feeling romantic. Uh, gotta smell good in here, right? Also, there's a litter box right behind me. On my desk next to me, we have a Google Wi-Fi, which is just a mesh network. It's just the first gen, but it's great. Uh, this office got the weakest connection in the house when we first got here, and this definitely fixed that problem. Um, and then the Philips Hue Hub is right next to it. And also, I switch out my little uh, Funko Pops. Right now, we have Herbie from the Fantastic Four. You're a real Marvel fan if you know who that is. Um, other odds and ends here. Blue light glasses, super useful. Here is a, oh, that's more camera gear. We'll talk about that. Let me know if you wanna see a camera video. Got lots of camera gear. Uh, more camera gear. Uh, this is one of those weird things. I need to invest in a Thunderbolt dock because right now I've got this ridiculous setup of MagSafe into the Mac, uh, 2.4 gigahertz receiver for my mechanical keyboard and two uh, SanDisk SSDs hanging out that look like bunny ears out of the side of my Mac and it looks kind of ridiculous. Otherwise on my desk I usually have some comic books I've been reading. I've got this cool DC encyclopedia. Been a Marvel guy my whole life so I'm trying to get a little more well versed for the DC characters. Um, chair, nothing special. Um, my in-laws let me borrow this. I don't even think I actually own this but they haven't asked for it back yet so uh, definitely in the market for a good chair eventually. This one sinks under the weight of myself but it does the job for now yeah i think that's it what was your favorite thing on here what does your desk setup look like is it messier than mine is it cleaner than mine is yours better than mine uh, i'm truly curious post down below if you have links if you've posted your own post them down there i want to see what you got more things that i want to do to this in the future definitely want to get an actual actual monitor and uh, kind of do a clamshell mode thing with my macbook that'll probably be in a future video otherwise that's been it. If you made it this far, drop a, a ghost emoji in the comments. Let me know if you wanna see some of those camera videos or the full walkthrough of my refurb Apple Store experience. Anyway, uh, that's been it, bye.